Well, I felt first very privileged to get to, to know these very inspirational people, being that artists or groups or, or movements, uh, which have uh, been kind of kindly enough to open themselves to us, like to receiving us. And uh, personally, uh, for me, coming from having an academic background, it was very nice to have this kind of practical um, practical side of all this kind of academic theories and ideas that I've had so far. Uh, so, in, in on a personal level, it has been very um, inspirational, let's say, and also it has given, given me kind of the motivation to continue work and research in this field. I think it depends on the context, uh, because Europe and Brazil are have totally different kind of understanding and implementation of this kind of of these grassroots movements. So, for example, in the context of, of Europe, particularly, let's focus on the European Union because Europe as a as a continent it's kind of difficult to to uh, elaborate now. Uh, but in the context of the European Union, as it's a, it. As, an, as a transnational uh, inst institution, uh, grassroots movements have much more difficulty to, uh, for their methodologies to be implemented on, let's say, uh, international level. So, um, as far as I have seen, um, in, in Europe, uh, there is a, a greater uh, dialogue between uh, local governments and grassroots, grassroots movements. Uh, whereas in Brazil it's a little bit different. Uh, I think that there there is um, uh, the, the political setup was a little bit um, ha has created the, uh, the grounds for bottom-up initiatives to actually their methodologies to be in implemented on a higher institutional level. Uh, but currently with uh, this kind of let's say, political crisis, um, things have been changing rapidly and I think that we will need more time to, to see what will be the results of this. I think that most of their weaknesses, let's say, is the lack of ec uh, economic funds. And um, unfortunately, uh, with groups that um, I have interviewed as part of the, the uh, team of Marginalia, um, most of these uh, organizations say stop working or it's difficult for them to, to maintain their sustainability due to lack of financial resources. Um, and I've seen this pattern in Brazil, Europe and now in, in China. Um, and their strength I think is, uh, it, I, I, I also see the strength, a pattern in, in, the, in the strength, uh, which is the networks that these groups create, um, be that formal or informal networks uh, from, this, from uh, the same uh, movements or individuals that help around uh, to continue the, the activism of, of particular groups. And I would say that um, this is also where transnational dialogues um, helps straighten because international dialogues also um, establishes these networks and connections, and particularly um, across three kind of huge contexts. Um, and the outcomes themselves from transnational dialogues, I think, are I think are contributing to this kind of network creation. Um, that formal or informal uh, kind of help the the, sustain, the sustainability and the continuity of artistic practices or cultural movements uh, or just individual um, actions. Yeah.